What's good, ladies and gentlemen, viewers? It's me, Manic the Nobody, bringing you Rogue Legacy, because it's what you want to see when you come to my channel every other day. That's what you want to see me do a Let's Play of Rogue Legacy. Yep, that's my little rap for you. Uh, I was just outside a couple seconds ago. Outside? What is this strange concept I hear you asking? But don't worry, it's not something that's going to take over your bedroom. It's a completely opt-in decision. Anyway, I got ate up by mosquitoes outside because in the Midwest, summers are mosquitoes. That's what we've got. That's what we worry about during the summer. But, uh, my house guest, which I ta we've been talking about for the past couple of videos, well, house guest, he, uh, just left, so I figured I'd get in, play some Rogue Legacy, because I'm behind by quite a ways, well, not behind, just I need some more videos, or, no. anyway, it's a little later than when I normally record videos, that's what, that's a good way to say it, and so, I, you know, I just got here to play this. I was playing some Borderlands, my guest, by the way, being my cousin, so I'll be referring to him as my cousin instead of my house guest from here on, but anyway, uh, uh, we played some Borderlands for a while, it was pretty fun. I, um, got out my old level 37 sniper, uh, from, who had just started his playthrough too, and my cousin rolled a new character. And it was hilarious watching him just die over and over again to people that I one-shot with my knife. Woo! Ha -hoo. Gotta be quicker than that! Woo -hoo, you can't catch me! Run, run, run! As fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm Gary Busey. Dang. I'll make it. I made it! I only killed one guy. Unfortunately, I guess the zombie like went back under because I thought there were two guys here. Hmm, guess not. Took out the plinky though, so plus. Yeah. I keep thinking about how much my arm itches and it's distracting me. So if I stop talking for a while, it's because I'm thinking about that. And it's rooms like these where double jumping and flying come in handy. Also, being a dwarf would come in handy, but, you know, I'm not that, so... Don't try to make me what I'm not. Meh. <sighs> oh, that wasn't as funny to anyone as it was to me in my head just now. And so, I talked in a few previous episodes, I don't know if many of you will remember this, about my diet that I had started at the beginning of this summer, uh, that was about 80 days ago. But, I finished it yesterday. I, it was supposed to go on for another couple more days, but I met my weight loss goal early, so I'm off my diet now, I can finally eat whatever I want, I'll still probably be eating just about as much as I was when I was on my diet, just slightly less conscious about it, so I don't have to worry about like, because it was a weird, very particular calorie counting diet, so I won't have to worry about, you know, if I go over to the relative's place and they make something homemade, I won't have to worry about asking, you know, oh, how many calories were in all the ingredients and how many of those ingredients made it into this portion of whatever, which is nice. So, I'm looking forward to enjoying some dessert foods that I'd been avoiding. I didn't really have to avoid them particularly because, you know, they weren't awful about calories, but... Oh, strategy, strategy, strategy. Watch this, watch this. Boom! Ah, oh, man. So close. I almost took him out with one hit. I should have been going down, because that's where the actual chest was, so I'm going back down. How you doing, viewers? I think I'm going to make that my new go-to instead of but, uh, or yeah, you know, or stuff like that. Or but, you know. I think I'm going to change to, so how you doing? It just has a more, you know, 
obvious catch tony thing to it, or er, not catch tone. It was like a mix between catchphrase and ringtone. Yeah, oh we I get to deal with pyrites and rages. My Oh, and Isens! All of my favorite enemies. What? There we go. That's that taken care of. Shame there are no chandeliers in the Maya. Rages are much easier to deal with than all the than like pyrites and junk. I really like their uh their graphics or the uh the mage or the ah uh, uh, I really like the way that the rage is done like it's a visual aesthetic because it reminds me of Sinistar you know the old arcade game I played that once in an arcade like uh there's a little old school arcade in uh in my sister's hometown ha uh, I get behind him while he's distracted. I can hit him. It's a good strategy. Wait for him to start charging up. Get behind him. Hit him a few times. He's charging up for a charge now, and he does a triple charge. Let's go ahead and start getting over him. And when we land, that was pretty nice. There we go, that's good. Come on, take him out, take him out. There we go. What's in the chest? What's in the chest? Ooh, blueprint. What do you got? Guardian chest plate. Don't know what that does. It'll be interesting to find out. I'm hoping to find the boss room this run. That's just my hope. Oh, we. Oh, we. I think I can, if this goes up high enough, I might be able to do this. Fire one off. Wait for it to come back over. Oh yeah, I don't have enough mana and this doesn't go up high enough, so yeah. I can't do this. I don't know what spell you're supposed to have to get that one. Or if you're just supposed to find some alternate way in. Either way, that fairy chest is going to be staying there for now. Oh wee, this is a nice room. I love this room. That's a lie. But it's actually not that tough because all the enemies are, you know, stationary. Well, mostly. They're pretty much stationary. They're all very slow. This kind of room is easier to take care of. Aside, of course, from those doom vises or traits. Or scapes. I'm not entirely sure which thing is from which area. But I'm going to take out everything but the evil pictures first. Because the evil pictures are always the hardest to deal with. And I might find some, you know, additional health or mana or stuff like that. Yeah. Nope. Oh, wow! I took that one out without even... Ah, dang. Took that one out just by following it without even taking any damage. I thought I was going to take damage at that last second, but I didn't. I somehow managed not to. I hate it when they go under you like that, because it always feels like they're going to come up right on top of you. Is there someone... Oh, yay, the boss room. Health. Mana. Well, now that I've found it, I can come back here next run, so I'm going to try to get... Uh, another Hokage or something, and then just lock down and teleport straight back here. But I'm gonna ignore it for now. Try to get some money. You know. Stuff like that. Because what I really want is Dragoon, or Dragon. Half Dragon. Er, well, I guess I should say, what I want is to unlock the rest of the manor to be explored. Because I want to see what all stats you can get. I still haven't decided whether or not I want to do New Game Plus. That's largely up to you, viewers. I just won't start it. Well, hopefully you'll have left me feedback by the time I get to the final boss on whether or not you want New Game Plus. 
And if it's a yes, then expect New Game Plus content from me. If it's a no, then don't. If it's a no, then I might have to play other games. Maybe finally break open the Faster Than Light. But I would have to, like, delete all my save data. The likelihood of me dying in this room is very, very high. I love having a mini-map. Because it lets me know when I'm about to be attacked by a mimic. Oh, there's a chest in that room that I sort of... Oh, it's that chest. Down we go. Let's see what this room has to offer me. A ninja or whatever that thing is called. Some pupils. A pyrite. Avoid the pupils at all costs. Fortunately for me, no mimic. Pupils, one hit kills. Ah, my head itches. There we go. Money, money, money. Hopefully I get enough money this run, like, seriously, hopefully I get enough money in this run to unlock the, uh, the dragon or whatever it is that unlocks the rest of the castle. I'm getting awful close. But I'm also fairly low on health. So I'm just gonna sit up here, have a look at my mini map real quick. Um over and up. Yeah, that's a good path. Over and up. Well first up and over and then over and up. I love being able to ignore those little things on the uh the top. Okay, let's see what's up top before mindlessly destroying these. Nothing. Well, staples. I love mindlessly destroying crates. That could be the name of a punk rock band. Mindlessly destroying crates. Oh, hey, pyrite. <sighs> Tried to jump over it. Didn't quite make it. Pyrite's charging at me. You can get one hit off on him. The ninja aren't actually as hard as they look. Take out pyrite number one. Pyrite number two will soon follow. Is that a mimic or is that the actual? That's a mimic. Well, taking out that mimic will be fun. Mimic is this one. And actual chest is here. Woo. Once I get up to 6,000 money, I'm gonna go try to fight the boss. Assuming I'm not dead before then. Hopefully I won't be, though. Ah, no. That was dumb of me. That easily avoidable damage. Oh, yay. An actual chest. Actually, forget what I said about uh, hitting 6k and then going to try fight the boss. Because instead, what I think I'm going to try to do is kill as many as enemies as I can, is enemies. Oops. Just accidentally Hokage powered. I never use my Hokage power. It might actually help in fighting the boss. Anyway. I'm going to try to kill as many enemies as I can. And then that will get me money. Because we're up all night to get money. These rooms are surprisingly easy. Hey, right, there's 6k. Er, not money, health. That's what I need now. But I'm probably gonna die in this room anyway, so there's no need to worry about it. You know what? My mind jumping various places. I'm just gonna go and die to the boss. and then lock the castle and come back. Y'all ready for this? Cause here he comes. Butta 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 flame 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 the legendary, the one, the only, Lord of the Maya, Master of Eternal Life, Ponce de Leon, the Sentinel. The Sentinel.
who will be experiencing the wrath of my, uh, of my, uh, chakrams. Chakrams, chakrams, everybody, or not. Everybody loves chakrams. Yum. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Sir Gans the second, uh, congratulations for taking on the boss for me. You were divine, man. Simply divine. Uh, Paladin, no way am I going Vertigo CIP Hokage. I really want a Hokage, so I'm gonna reroll. Lich King, Spell Sword, Paladin. Um, which one would be best for taking on the boss? Um, Paladin, pretty good at everything. Spell Sword, yeah, Spell Sword with Electrophobia and OCD. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we unlock bestiality! Class unlocked. You have discovered the lost art of the dragons. Though you cannot jump, you have unlimited flight and can cast forth powerful fireballs at your foes. Yay! Now I have no monies! So... Cuckoo Kachu, what you got here? Oh, big... Guardian chest? Which gives me a lot of armor with no other special properties. Have you got anything that I could spend only $401 on? No, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. No. Nope. And I know you don't have anything. So, lock down the castle, sir. And let's go take on Ponce de Leon. Enjoy! Maybe you can get some treasures your ancestors missed. Here, I have all of my money. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna destroy everything in the front room before teleporting to the boss. I feel a lot slower as a spell sword than I was as a Hokage. Maybe my last Hokage just had ADHD or something. So, to the boss. What the heck did you do? Oh, uh, there's a glitch with teleporters where occasionally if you, uh, if you use a teleporter, it spawns you right underneath where the teleporter is. So, in this room, I ended up just falling through the floor and landing in the room below. And... Ooh, you can surround yourself with fire? So can I. Heh. <laughs> Man flying through the background. The Sentinel Ponce de Leon. Can you bake a pie? No, neither can I. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Okay, I'm now out of mana. Hmm. Doing pretty good so far. Ooh, that was pretty nice. Dear Jesus. Hey, Zeus. Let's activate my powerful flame barrier. Oh, hey, I was granted invulnerability from the, uh, little spiky ball, so I can just sort of stand in the boss. Now let's wait. Alright, here he is. Down I go! Ah. Dang. I will kill you, Ponce de Leon. I'll get you, Jimmy Neutron. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe not even next week. Or next year. Oh dear lord. Okay, I think that I've entered the oh god I'm gonna die phase of boss fights. <laughs> I'm a bit less in hysterics than I was back when I was fighting uh, Alexander or whatever his name was. But fighting Alexander was hectic because dude, I was... I was a spell sword with a 
with Savantism. So, I was just throwing random spells at the dude. Oh dear lord. I'm a lot better at this than I thought. Okay, uh... No! I want to attack his weak spot for massive damage. He's about to die, or I am- YES! YES! Ponce de Leon has been defeated! Now give me all that sweet loot. Oh. 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 Two health ups and an armor up. Oh. Bling! I'm outie. And boom! Only one more boss to go before the final boss. <sighs> so? I'm not a dwarf, so I can't get that chest up above. I'm not gonna be trying to live super long here. I'm just gonna, you know, be up all night to get sun, fun. Lucky. Whatever you prefer. And... Uh oh Nope. I hate how it costs mana to turn off Flame Barrier as well. Like, that's the one downside of Flame Barrier. And there I go. Well... That's, uh, Lady Henry of the Third, slain by a Doom Trait. And I love how they, like, spin their sword and drop it, but you can't see it on Spell Sword. Because they're spell swords, so they don't have an actual sword. So let's choose our air for the next video before uh, jumping on in. Assassin, Ambilivis, Eidetic Memory, Paladin, and ADHD, Tunnel Vision, Barbarian Queen. Let's re-roll our, our airs. I've been doing this like every time. Archmage, Archmage, Paladin. Nostalgic Paladin, I don't really like that. Baldness, Hypergonadism, Archmage, Conflux, Conflux, not a great spell. Um, hmm. Between these two, probably are Sir Culp, the OC Day Gay Mark Mage, who will be enjoying success. Um, can't afford anything nice, so uh, let's keep putting points into health up. And, lovely ladies and gentle viewers, oh, I forgot, you can change spells on Archmage, so we've got Flame Barrier, Conflux, and, uh, this, uh, Spell Wall, or Spell Barrier, or whatever. I wish that we could kill these guys. Oh, listen to that damage sound. Well, anyway, until next time... I've been Manic the Nobody, the dead has been Ponce de Leon, you've all been my viewers, hopefully you know that, and I will... Auf Wiedersehen later!